What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our ACC football channel. In our 2019 college football season simulations continue with the Florida State Seminoles out of the ACC and this is NCAA Football 14 with updated rosters for the 2019 season. That's why we call it NCAA Football 20. Uh, coming off a rough year last year, we'll see if Florida State can bounce back in real life. But first, we'll see what they do on the video game. They open up the season with Boise State up 6-0 early, but the Broncos have the football, and they get a touchdown to take a 7-6 lead with the extra point. Second quarter now, James Blackman runs one into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. 13-10 now, Boise State back on top. Back and forth we go. 17-13, third quarter, Boise State looking for more on third down and one. It's the Seminole defense coming up with a huge stop, and they will hold them to a field goal. So we've got a 20-13 game. Uh, here comes the kickoff after that field goal, actually. Uh, Florida State on the kickoff after the field goal. Uh, and look at that, just runs a man over and somehow just gets through everybody and no one's going to catch him. He's gone. Touchdown, Florida State on the kickoff return. And we are tied at 20. Boise State then adds a field goal. The Florida State looking to get the lead, but they are stopped on third down. And we will be tied at 23, under two minutes to play in this game. Broncos with the football, looking to try to win this one and pull off what would, I think, be a little bit of an upset. And they are able to connect with that pass, gets them in a field goal range, and they get a little bit closer. And this is for the win, and it's good. And we actually streamed this game live on the channel back several weeks ago. So if you guys watch that, you already saw the results here. But uh, that's a big win for Boise State. Tough loss for Florida State. And I am hoping to get this done, simulations done, for some of the top teams in the Mountain West and the American Conference. Uh, so I, I do plan on doing that. The videos might be a little bit shorter. Uh, I may have to just kind of super sim some of them, but I'm going to try to get that in before the season starts. The next game is against Virginia. Big touchdown there. And actually they play Louisiana Monroe. Uh, in between Boise State and Virginia, so I don't want to miss that game. But we didn't didn't simulate it, didn't have the rosters. Uh, so we're moving on here to this Virginia game. Tied at seven, first quarter. Virginia is stopped, and they're going to go field goal. It's good. So it's 10-7, to seven, Cavaliers, uh, Florida State. Remember they got that kickoff return against Boise State. Uh, well, they're doing it again, and he is going to take this. This is a lot back-to-back -back games because of Louisiana Monroe, but uh, that's Cam Akers taking it all the way back for a touchdown. It's 14-10, Florida State. Now Virginia with the football. Looking for points here in the second quarter. They're stopped on third down and goal and would have to settle again for a field goal. 14-13 now, Florida State on top. Second quarter about halfway through, Florida State with the ball. James Blackman will run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. 27-13 now. Florida State are increasing that lead with another touchdown. Virginia in trouble here. Bryce Perkins will run it in, trying to get them back in the ball game. 40-19, though, on fourth down and inches. This is it. Ball game over. Uh, you're not going to come back now. So that's it. 40-19, Florida State over Virginia. Big win there for the Seminoles as they start ACC play with a W. Next game is against Louisville. Let's go to that one. Uh, to Early on in the ball game, Florida State with a touchdown run. They're up 10 to nothing here late in the first quarter. James Blackman will run one all the way into the end zone. Touchdown. Now Louisville trying to get on the board. Juwan pass around the left side. He is loose, and I don't think they're going to catch him. Oh, it's close. No, they do not. It's a touchdown. Louisville getting back in this game. Then another touchdown here. It's 24-21, a three-point game just like that. Now Florida State with it. Blackman taking a shot deep down the field. Look at that pass. Look at that catch by DJ Matthews. Diving catch, and Florida State is now up a couple of possessions. But Louisville not going away. They get this touchdown. And we have a six-point game. But the defense for the Cardinals needs a stop. And they're going to get it. Taking down Cam Akers. Uh, that's a big-time tackle there. So we get Louisville ball now. Fourth down and 11. Pass. It's incomplete. And I don't know if he would have got the first down anyway. So Florida State can really end this game with a first down. Uh, Cam Akers is going to pick it up as he finds his way through the traffic, picking up a first down. And Florida State will survive against Louisville 34-28. to A pretty close game there. Uh, but Seminoles continue to – they're still unbeaten in ACC play. Uh, that's a pretty big win. Next game is going to be at home against NC State. 14-10, Florida State. 
And I tell you what, we put this Baylor offense, the playbook for Baylor and for Florida State, and saw some pretty crazy games on here where Florida State put up a ton of points. Not every game, but we did see some games where they put up a ton of points. Uh, and you'll see some of those here in just a few minutes. But uh, they're putting it together here against NC State. Already 28 points before halftime, 28-10. Uh, there is a big hit there. A sack on third down. Florida State's defense making a play. Now they're going to get the ball uh, by late in the first half. Another touchdown. That's 35 points on the board before we even get to halftime. That's what I was talking about. Uh, we've seen some crazy numbers. Look at that. They put up 70. 70 points on NC State as the Seminoles win it 70-34. to 34. Up next, it's a showdown with Clemson. And Florida State would probably be ranked pretty high at this point with just that one loss. Uh, not top 10, but, you know, they'd probably be in the top 20 uh, as they look to go on the road and try to pull off an upset here over Clemson. Uh, Clemson was was the first ACC team that we did. So if you watch that video, you've already seen the results, but I'm sure a lot of you did not catch that video. So this was a close game early on. First quarter, a lot of points for uh, Clemson taking a 17-14 lead there. Now early second quarter, big time hit there. Big sack by the Clemson defense. And that was really what got this game uh, slowed down a little bit because the offenses were just scoring like crazy. But, uh, yeah, the defense has got, got some stops there. But then Florida State's finally able to break back through and get a touchdown there. Now Clemson looks to take the lead before halftime. They would with that Trevor Lawrence run. 27-21 to here in the third quarter. Again, it's Trevor Lawrence. And they get a two-possession lead for the first time in this game. 34-21. Blackman, though, answers back for the Seminoles. And this was it. This was the killer right here. Florida State was still in this ball game, but Clemson comes up with a pick six, second turnover of the day for Florida State. Uh, and then Clemson adds another touchdown here, and they really got the offense going there. 57 to 35. So Florida State again hanging around in this game, but when it got there about midway through the third quarter, uh, Clemson was just too much. So Florida State's going to lose their second game of the year, just their first loss in the ACC though. Uh, so they're having a pretty solid year. And you look at the teams in the ACC, and you'd have to say, you know, Florida State has a chance, at least a chance against every team in this conference outside of Clemson. Uh, and maybe they don't have a chance there, especially on the road. But their next game is against Wake Forest. 7 nothing here early in the game. Uh, Florida State with the lead, and they get an interception. Second turnover already for Wake Forest in this one. And then Blackman delivers a dime to Terry for the touchdown. It's 14-0. Late first quarter, Wake Forest trying to come back in this game. They get a big first down there and look to punch it in. They would with the Sam Hartman run. 14-7 now. 17-10 as we move ahead. Second quarter, Hartman again runs it. And Wake Forest would tie this thing up at 17. Now Florida State going to try to run the football. And there is a fumble on the play. Wake Forest recovers. And they've got some momentum now. They've put together some offense. Their defense gets a turnover. And look at that throw as that pass is complete. And now Wake Forest would take the lead of this touchdown, 24-17. to Looking good here. Now Florida State with it. Blackman into the end zone. Touchdown Florida State. Back and forth we go. It's tied at 24. Third and seven for Wake Forest. They get stopped. This is a big stop for that Florida State defense. And now about halfway through the fourth quarter, Florida State looking to get that lead back. They take it down inside the 10-yard line on third down and goal. They complete the pass, but it's short of the end zone, so they would have to settle for the field goal. 27-24, Florida State on top. Now Wake Forest with it. Third down and six. They are stopped. And again, another stop from that Florida State defense. They look to just run the clock out at this point. They get a first down and make Wake Forest use their timeouts on third and inches. This first down conversion would end the game. Florida State will beat Wake Forest in a close one. 27 to 24 the final score as the Seminoles continue to roll just with that one loss in the ACC. Florida State going to be back at home in their next game against Syracuse. Looking to keep this thing rolling. 14-0 already with a big lead. And they would add to it. Look at that run from Cam Akers. He is having himself a year. Another big play. 21-0. Florida State, uh, Syracuse trying to get back in the game. Tommy DeVito throws an interception. This was just a bad game for Syracuse. Uh, I think they were like 7-5. and five. We've already done them. Uh, but this was just, just not a good performance. Florida State with the football here. We're still in the first half. 
On third down and six, James Blackman going to take off with it, and he will run it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown. It's 28 to nothing. Florida State rolling. 31 to seven at this point. This is right before the half. They got another touchdown to make it 20, 38 to seven. And this game just was never close. 66 to 21. And that's what I talked about earlier. Florida State put up some really impressive numbers in some of these games, and this is another example of that. Uh, so they get a big win here. And they, they had the loss to Clemson, and, and they said they would need Clemson to lose two games for them to have a chance to win the division. But if you watched their video, well, you already know Clemson, they didn't lose a conference game. So Clemson has already won the division. But still, you know, if they could win out at 10-2, this team could get to a New Year's Six Bowl potentially. James Blackman picks up the touchdown there. It's 14-0 over rival Miami, and they get another one. To make, it, make it 21 to nothing. They had a big lead on Miami last year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then they blew that game. Looks like it might happen again as Miami gets this touchdown. 24 to 14, third quarter. Nikosi Perry to the end zone, close to the end zone, runs it into the end zone. That's a touchdown for Brian Hightower. 24 21, Miami again trying to get back in this game. And this stop would give them the ball with a chance to tie or even take the lead. And they get inside the 20. Now Perry completes it. It's a touchdown. Will Mallory making the play. And Miami has the lead here in the fourth quarter. Third and goal. Keith Gavin makes the touchdown catch. Florida State answers right back. And with the extra point, it would be 31-28. to 28. Florida State trying to hold off the Hurricanes. Now Perry with it. Takes a shot, and that was not a good throw. As it is intercepted, Florida State comes up with a turnover. Both teams now at two turnovers for the game. First and goal here. They punch it in for the touchdown. Florida State going to go up two possessions. That will make it tough for Miami. Uh, but it's not over, not technically. They're out of timeout, so they'll have to get an onside kick after they pick up that touchdown. Can they get the onside kick? They cannot. Florida State recovers, and it is over. 38-35, Florida State beats Miami. That is a big-time win uh, because Miami could potentially be the, the second toughest game on their schedule outside of Clemson. So to get that win, I think, is really big. Um, and they have continued to roll here. Again, we don't know if this is going to play out this way in real life. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Uh, but this game does seem to like Florida State this year. The next game is on the road at Boston College. He scrambled. Early on in the game, Anthony Brown runs one in for the Eagles. 7-0 Boston College. Still in the first quarter now, James Blackman looking to answer with a touchdown run of his own, and he would. So we're tied at 7. <coughs> And that ball is intercepted. Florida State coming up with a big turnover. And then they get the touchdown. So they turn the turnover into points. It's 14 to seven, Florida State. Now Blackman taking a shot. Touchdown here as they get a little bit of a, a cushion on Boston College. And again, bad throw as it is intercepted. Florida State coming up with it and they're gonna run this all the way back. He breaks a couple tackles and he's gonna go all the way. Touchdown Florida State. And then they really get the offense going from there. They wind up putting up 63 points, 63 to 10, the final score. Impressive win for Florida State. They can finish 10 and 3, or excuse me, 10 and 2, if they can finish with a couple of wins. They play Alabama State next. We're going to assume a win there, and then all that leaves is Florida. And they play Alabama State, and then get a bye week before playing Florida. So essentially, Florida State has two bye weeks before playing Florida. Uh, I think they'll be ready for that game in real life. Of course, bye weeks don't really play into these simulations because there are there's no human element here. Uh, but Florida is on a roll early. It appears that the bye weeks are not going to help because the Gators are up 24 to 10. I believe Florida gets a bye week before playing Florida State as well. Uh, I have to double check that. But Florida State hanging around. James Blackman gets this touchdown and they creep back into the game. It's a seven point game. Felipe Franks with it. He runs it right up the middle of the field. That's a touchdown. And the Gators back up by two scores, 31 to 17. Florida State now, Blackman to the end zone. That's incomplete, but they're going to review it. I think he might have got that. Let's see. One foot down in bounds. Yeah, actually, he had two feet in bounds. So that's a touchdown. Florida State within seven, and they get a stop, get the ball back. We're in the fourth quarter now, and they have a chance to tie this game. Blackman to the end zone, touchdown. We're tied at 31. We got a classic game here in this rivalry. There goes LaMichael P. Ryan with a big run inside the 35-yard line. Florida trying to get the lead back. 
That's dropped, though, and they would have to settle for a field goal. It's good. So Florida has the lead with still plenty of time. And Florida State has all three timeouts on second and three. Blackman to throw. Looking down the field. It is intercepted. Bad turnover as Florida uh, gets that interception. And with three timeouts, Florida State still has a chance. But they had to get a stop here, and they couldn't do it. Florida picks up the first down, which would allow them to run the clock out. And they'll win it 34-30. to one a great game great effort from florida state but they come up just short and they will finish the season nine and three but only one loss in the acc that's really impressive seven to one in the acc uh, then two losses coming to boise state and florida but a very solid year for florida state they're probably going to miss out on a new year six bowl based off of that but uh, still very solid season and uh, i think florida state fans would take that i know you'd like to beat your rival florida but hey at least they beat miami and again, we'll re revisit this at the end of the season, see how accurate it was. Uh, this game really likes Florida State compared to some of the other outlets. And uh, again, we will see how accurate it turns out to be. Thank you for watching this video. If you are an ACC football fan, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. And for the latest in ACC football, keep it right here.